24. We are four years old. And I have a cake and a candle to blow. Here we are. Happy birthday. I didn't bake it myself. I don't think I'm good in baking. But there is a little surprise for me for just 24. A little cake which I'm going to enjoy after the show. <laughs> don't be jealous, guys. I'm going to blow the candle right now. <laughs> I am International Master Sopi Gogoromishvili here for you on Chest 24. And we are four years old. Two years ago, I was with Miss Strategy. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I just cannot talk. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> I was with Miss Strategy in Hamburg and I shared a video on Facebook. Uh, where we recorded in front of Just24 studio and it was really nice but I'm lucky now uh, that I am live and after me will be Miss Strategy and a lot more superstars of Just24 like Peter Swidler, Jan Gustafsson, King Crusher, Chess Explained so you're gonna have 14 hours of banter blitz and you're gonna play an hour with me, an hour with um, Anna as well, and then two hours uh, to King Crusher, Chess Explained, Peter Swidler, and Young Gustafsson. So great day for Chess24, and of course a great start of the birthday party as Adiban, as I call him, AD, the beast, opened the party and opened the show with a great, great start. He was like, why there's delay <laughs> when he was live. It was very funny. He's very funny and AD, you rock. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do, you already know, you have to challenge me with five minute blades games, five minute blades games, premium members. And if you're not a premium member, then remember that it's a big sin. It's a mistake. Uh, but if you're not a premium member, still you can use the voucher code, 15% discount. Uh, the voucher code you can uh, write there, Sopico, and you will get 15% discount. So make sure you do that. Let's see the challenges. I'm very happy that we have 14 hours of banter blitz today. And here we are. Let's see the challenges. And I have lots of challenges. Wow, too many, too many. I cannot even choose. But as I promised you, I will start from the very, very first one, which is Johann Willem Mobius. Yeah, yeah, he is a premium member. He challenged me with five minute blitz games. So I'm gonna start with this one and I am playing with black pieces. I hope you see everything. I hope this stream is good. And there we are, E4. Okay, I'm not gonna um, play something else. I will stick to my Nidorf if he allows me to play Nidorf. I started open to the game with Sicilian, of course, and let's see what kind of um, game we will face with bishop b5 or I think we are heading to Nidorf. I really love Nidorf guys and I really really recommend you to play it if you want to get something fresh and something sharp. I really recommend you to take a look at the Nidorf. I was um, watching some videos of Gary Kasparov. Uh, you know he is a big big expert of Nidorf and the feelings and emotions he is expressing when he is showing his games in Nidorf, it's just amazing. So you definitely have to um, take a look at it if you didn't do it yet. And I played a bit rare line, um, Bishop G5 is nowadays very, very popular and it's already popular for a long time and Knight BD7 kind of became um, not main reply, but very popular reply as well. E6 is the main reply, of course, but after knight bd7 and f4, there are many, many um, things that black can do. 
but I chose a rare line E5, which I think I was the first one, maybe not, but first one on a medium level uh, to play the this move. So let's see. Um, Queen D3. This is tiny, tiny bit um, weird move. Usually they go Queen D2, and if Queen B2, then Rook B1. I can now take this pawn and play the normal. I think I think I will take it. I don't think there is any trap for me. What can be the difference if the knight goes? I always have a check, queen a5, or I can always go queen c5. So I'm not afraid of this. And queen d3, I think it's a bit awkward because it just. Um, closes this bishop. I think queen d2 and bishop c4 is more flexible. Um, what can I play here? I can play queen c5, I can play bishop e7. Queen c5 does not allow him to castle, but he can take on e5, take on e5, bishop e3, queen c7. I think I will do that because after taking on e5 something is clear. Um, in the center, I will go queen c7 and bishop c5, uh, castle, then I will just have an extra pawn. So I think I'm doing okay. At least I hope I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay, so how are you guys? Are you excited to have 14 hours of banter bleeds? That's quite a lot. I think that's pretty a lot. Um, 95, I can take this one. E takes d5. I can play f6, but f6, bishop h4, and bishop f2 is kind of in white's favor, so I wouldn't do that. I can play b5, which I think is, is an interesting move. I want to develop bishop b7. It is true that I can develop bishop e7 because bishop e7, king e7 is definitely not in my favor. d takes e5 and let's say bishop e3 right now, queen d6 or queen c7, probably queen c7 not to close this bishop. I still think that I'm doing very fine because I have good blockage on blockade on d6 and c5 on dark squares. So if I manage to put my bishop on d6, which I will do right now, knight on c5, castle and rooks in the center, then uh, black definitely has um, some advantage. But this is what I meant with if I manage, because now I can castle, there is, um, there is a big problem on h7. f7 is hanging, so I have two moves f6 is kind of ridiculous to let the knight land on e6 so i have only moved to play is knight f6 though i cannot castle rook f6 g f6 would be interesting if i already castled but right now i don't think it's very interesting though rook f6 g takes f6 and knight e4 is probably also pretty possible um, a4, a4 is interesting, opening, opening the um, lines and bothering this guy a bit, but after h6, knight e4, knight e4, queen e4, I think this is better version for me to play, because this knight on g5 is pretty annoying. Let's see. Let's see what my opponent decides to play. Knight e4, knight e4. Yeah, it's kind of an only move. So knight e4, queen e4. Now I have to probably take this guy, but I can also play b4, which is also interesting. I will play b4, bishop g6. Sorry, bishop h5. Bishop g6 cannot be played. Bishop h5. I meant 
if I play g6, bishop g6, but now I can castle, so if I am not mated, then life is good. Let's see. Okay, I want to be a bit aggressive, so I will play f5, f4. I am opening the white squares, bishop g6 might be annoying, but I hope that I'm in time for f4 and bishop f5. This is what I hope for. Let's, let's do that. Now bishop g6 wouldn't make any sense. Ooh, bishop b6, that's with tempo, that I didn't like. So I will trade this bishop with a check, not to lose a tempo. Bishop c5, bishop c5, um, queen c5, king h1, and bishop f5. This is why I choose to trade these bishops. It's also pretty annoying to have it there. He can try, of course, to play king h1 like he did now. Bishop b6, a, b. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, Svishen Sooks, right? It's called like this. This I didn't like. This I didn't like. Um, if I play queen c6, the problem is that bishop f3 is there. I think I have to play queen c5. And on a, b, I have to play first bishop f5, but then queen b3 is there. So I have to be very, very, very careful. I would love to play e4 here, but after... Okay, he can also take bishop queen e4 and queen h5, queen a8 is there, so... Queen b3 is another kind of problem. So I would like to play it safe and play bishop e6. On bishop f5, I really, really disliked queen b3 check. b7. Mm, let's go rook b8. I am giving up this a6 pawn, but I'll try to play something like queen bishop c4 and after bishop c4 I will win the exchange he doesn't have so much time so I I hope to win this game I think it's pretty winning because these pawns are are weak they are very advanced but they are weak Thank you, thank you very much for um, thank you very much for the game. I think it was pretty interesting one. Um, and uh, queen e3, I still think that it's a little bit awkward, but um, of course it's possible to play uh, like that. Um, I'll try to read your comments, guys. So if you have any questions, please do write. If you want any special, any special wishes, like play, um, I don't know, b3, d3, h3, or whatever, you can um, you can just ask, and I will be I will be the one uh, who will be playing. So, if you have any requests, please do so. Uh, Brain Boy is, was saying that he's excited uh, to play the Banter Blitz for 15 hours. I think it's 14 hours, but it's still a lot. Um, and next game, next game will be played with next challenger. Next challenger will be will be who will be next challenger? Grieve72, that's going to be my next challenger. Ooh, life is tough to play so many games. Um, and I am playing with black pieces. So I will show you the board right now. D4, I'm playing against the black pieces. I don't think that chess 24 is being nice to me just because 
it is just 24's birthday, are we forced to play all games with black pieces? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. So, um, what is this? City, he wants, um, <clears throat> he wants to take on um, d5, that's for sure. What can I play? I can play knight f6, but after bishop f6, bishop f6 and cd5, I gotta take cd5. Though I can play queen a5, knight c3 and cd5. That probably makes sense, so I would I would go for, the, for this. Oh no, he did not. Okay, this is a little bit tricky because if I castle now, bishop f6, bishop f6, cd5, c5, knight d5, queen a5, knight c3, do I have enough compensation? And with enough compensation I mean that, yeah, he is not castled, but after just one move is needed, let's say bishop d3, and he will castle already. So, I can play something like bishop g4, bishop f6, bishop f6, cd, take on a free take, cd uh knight d5 queen a5 knight c3 but i still don't think that i have compensation for it so i will go an ugly move dc4 knight d d2 i really did not expect because usually people try to leave this bishop on um f1 not to lose any tempo okay everything with tempo come on be patient. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> it's not nice to um, to face such moves. Anyway, I can play bishop b7, rook c8, a6, and c5 is in my plan. So after rook c8, a6, and c5, what I'm gonna do? Ooh, bishop f3, this is very tricky move because b5 pawn is hanging. But another tricky move will be rook c8 because after knight b5, uh, cb5, the queen is hanging, darling, so you cannot take on um, b7. I am playing with an Englishman. I think he is a man. I don't know, I automatically call everybody he, but maybe it's she, so I don't know. Um, I will play a6, I will stick to my plan with c5, and try to imitate English accent. <laughs> I'm not good in that. But my husband is better in many accents. Okay, what can I do now? I can play knight d5, which looks very ugly. After knight d5, knight d5, cd5, this bishop will be, it will be so poor there. So first I will play knight b6 to get on, get on d5, but then to take the d5 with the piece, not with the pawn. Um, queen b3, okay, knight d5, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5, queen d5, queen d5, c d5. This is his plan. I understood it perfectly. I will go bishop a8. It might seem a bit like, what are you doing? Why are you playing like this? But my idea is to put c5 and that this bishop is um, defended. Oh, oh my god, I did not see this at all. I was thinking, I was kind of thinking to play g5, not because this was hanging, but... Oh, yo, 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 shame, shame, shame. Okay, I still have to go. Oh, now I blundered on f7. This is impossible. This is impossible. I played so bad. I am very sorry for such a bad game. I apologize. 
I liked how Adiban said a moment of silence. I'm still not gonna um, resign yet. Please do beat me, Mr. Englishman. Show me how you beat me. I have no hopes at all in this position. No hopes. Ah. Life is tough. Life is super tough. He will beat me, of course. There won't be any problem. H6 is hanging. Everything is hanging. Is it a shame to continue playing? Probably. But what to do? In my previous banter, please, I lost such game against Nihal Sarin. I will never forget it. <laughs> and after that game, I I realized that you should never give up. That's the correct way. How many pawns down am I? I don't have time. There is not a single chance that I will save this game. But yeah, hope never dies. Jesus Christ, come on. I won't save this game. I know it already very well. Am I wasting the time? Am I? I don't know. Probably. But I will fight till the end. <laughs> That's a very, very bad um, behavior of me. Once you blunder, how many pawns? Three pawns? Did I blunder three pawns? Yeah. I don't have H, G and F pawns. He just continues playing like nothing happened. Yeah. Nothing happened at all. It's nice to keep your cool. It's very nice. But sometimes it happens that you have a winning position, very winning position. And, okay, what are you gonna do? Probably he wants to mate me. Knight g5 and I think that's it. But still. Don't give up. There is no mate yet. I don't know why I'm playing this. Okay, I don't know. But if there is no mate, okay, my g4, then he wants to mate me. Do I have This is ridiculous. What I'm doing is really, really ridiculous. Oh, mate. Is there a mate? There should be a mate. Okay. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna resign. Thank you. Thank you very much for beating me. <laughs> this was this was very bad of me. I mean knight g6 to miss knight g6 and then to play uh, rookie 8 and to play c5 this is just this was not me this was not me but uh, kudos to my opponent very well done and uh, now let's accept another challenge and another challenge will be oh shelling ford I have to play you once and I have to beat you Ooh, and I get white with you. That's very nice. He is beating me all the time. 
all the time. So I have high hopes for this game. I really hope that you guys are supporting me. And he has a present for me. Shelling for it. What are you gonna say? Did we transpose into, no, we didn't. No, we didn't transpose into anything. <laughs> After e d5 and d4, I think we would transpose into Tarash game. Um, now let's try to keep things like it is. a3, queen c2. Knight d4 should be a bit annoying. So I would go, um, I can go knight e4 as well, let's say I go knight e4, taken b2, taken b2, I don't have any ambitions on advantage right now. Mm. Okay, he went back. That's nice. If he wants to play knight d4 now, yes. That was the problem, to play knight d4 right now. Okay, um, you got me. Am I losing this pawn? That's very, very picky if I'm losing this pawn. I have to play, I think, queen d3 and on Knight b3. I'm having hopes to play knight d5, but bishop d5 is there. Too bad. I am again losing. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm super excited for the birthday. And I cannot concentrate. <laughs> That's my excuse. But anyway. Anyway, guys, um, how am I gonna use it? I have to take it. I think I have to take it. Knight c1 is not a problem because I will take on e7 and then on c1. So bishop d5 has to be played. And after bishop d5, I think I gotta go somewhere like rook c3. Annoying thing is that he can go c4, which he does, of course, and bishop f6. Bishop f6, knight e5. That was my kind of hope. But this looks very bad. Why did I choose him? It's very interesting. Okay, queen e5. I have a trick. I want to take on b3. <laughs> will he see it? Of course he will see it. Come on. He will see it, of course. I, I cannot go anywhere. I have to go here and f4. This is... Did, did he, did he trap my queen? Did he trap my queen? That was super embarrassing game, but super awesome game from Schellingford. I have to resign. Very bad, very bad, I have to resign. Thank you very much for the masterpiece, Schellingford. I'm not gonna play against you anymore. <laughs> now I'm gonna choose somebody who, uh, who challenged me right now. Game King is challenging me, but he's not a premium member. You have to be premium member to challenge me. And after him, somebody called Heiki12 is challenging me, and I have white pieces again. It didn't help me with shelling forward, but I think that I really loved how he beat me. It's very weird to say, but I really loved it because it was a very good game. He didn't give me any chance and he was like, okay, you're not 
you're not playing the main lines, you're playing something that you don't know, then I'm gonna punish you. And that was a very, very bitter punishment. But I'm gonna warm up, guys. I promise you that you're gonna see better games uh, from me. And uh, hopefully, this will be much better game. I don't know why I'm playing this uh, setup always in Blitz. It looks pretty easy and um, when when you're playing a Blitz game, you're trying not to remember a lot of um, theory and a lot of main lines. So that is why I chose to play this. Um, but I'm not sure, of course, it's a great strategy. I think it's best in Blitz to play what you know. And if you know, um, this is this should be a mistake because after CD5, the C line will be open and I can take on D5. So he just gave me a pawn, which I am very thankful for it. But um, but it was just a blunder. It happens. It happens. I also blundered many times, don't get upset, just practice a lot, uh, playing Blitz. Actually many many players were interesting um, in this question, that is Blitz good or not? Now I'm just going to take the piece and it's going to be an extra piece for me. So it should be, it should be not to win. And I'm gonna answer the Blitz questions because on YouTube and on Just24 forums, I read questions like, please do tell me if Blitz is good for improving or not. And what I think, there are many opinions. There are opinions like, um, it's not good. There are opinions uh, like it makes you play faster in the, um, game or it makes you in the normal game or it's just fun and it's not serious. What I think is that nowadays, just first let me choose who I'm going to play with. I'm going to play with Paradise Pete. Hello there. Okay, now I'm playing with black pieces. Oh, sorry. So what I meant is that I think Blitz is good, but if you know how to stop it, because it's pretty um, pretty addictive to play Blitz all the time. And if you know just the right amount of time you can put in Blitz, let's say in a day you play an hour, but not more than an hour, then it's definitely, definitely very good uh, because you practice, you are sharp in Blitz, you, you practice some openings. If you're, for example, uh, learning a new opening, you just um, practice it. You can practice it in the Blitz games. Um, you get the ideas, you get, um, you see the tactics, but um, of course there are uh, advantages and disadvantages. I agree that if you play a lot of Blitz, then you might play a bit faster in uh, the um, normal game than it's needed. And um, I do agree that it's also fun to play Blitz. But if you use this fun as um, as a way to improve and just play one hour of Blitz games um, every day, then it's very good. Or if for you it's necessary to play, let's say, 30 minutes, then um, do so. Oh, you've already played Knight of Three, so I don't know why I'm thinking. I will just um, play my normal repertoire. Neidorf, we again face Neidorf H3. This is very, very um, popular as well. Fisher used to play it very often. I like to go uh, here, moves like Queen C7, Knight C6, B5. Nihal played with me H4 in the Blitz game, last banter Blitz instead of H3. And I was, I thought that it was pretty interesting because um, usually the uh, point is to go g5, h4, h5 and uh, g6. So in a game he kind of won this tempo and uh, 
play h4 g5 in one go. So that was very smart. But um, usually h4 is not um, is not played on um, knight h5 he wants. Let's go bishop b7 anyway. Usually h4 is not um, a big move on top level, though of course some top guys uh, used to play it for once or twice. Um, but still, for a game to surprise somebody, I think it's a very, very interesting option. Now I'm going to go rook c8 with the idea that I want to play knight e5 and you can go b3. Although I think that knight e5 directly was also possible to play. a3 I don't like because I'm going to go knight e5. There is no b3 and how are you going to stop knight c4? Like this, okay. Knight c4 still. Playing h3 and g4 and just developing like this, I don't think is correct. Um, let's castle. Oh, sorry guys. Bless me. Bless me, thank you. Um, knight d1 with the idea of b3, bishop b2, probably. Um, now what can I play? Let's play rook e8 with the idea of d5. c3, let's go d5 anyway. e takes d5, e takes d5 and bishop f8 is my plan. But he doesn't want it. That's, that's a bit, that's a bit, I don't think it's good. Because if I manage to play d5 without any problems in the center, then um, in neither black is doing good. That's kind of a kind of works this strategy in every nearly in every game. If you go d5 without any problems, then you're doing okay. What he can do? Knight h5. He can play. Definitely you shouldn't give me the uh, this pawn. I mean, something like knight c4 can be played, um, or, yeah, for example. I'll take d c4, and I will try to play in the center, if I manage so. I will try to put my knight on c5, then there are holes, F4, of course it's possible, but um, I think that these holes are more important than attack on the king side, because I should be able to somehow um, to somehow play and defend on king side. So guys, after this game I'm going to look at the chat once again and if you have any requests or any questions, please do write. I think that your requests might help me because I'm not shining today, um, I'm not playing very good, but we're going to have fun. It's birthday party. It's a birthday party and on birthdays we're always going to have fun. I know that with I could not keep up the level of uh, the superstar of chess 24 of Adiban because he is a great player and he is also he doesn't do such things he doesn't blunder um, let's take this g2 bishop put my rook here I probably can go bishop c5 because this bishop looks stronger than my bishop and if I manage to trade it then it looks that the f4 pawn might be in trouble f5 is not great because e5 is hanging 
That is why I said that d3 square is more important rather than um, rather than this attack on the king side. But he does not let me to do so. So first I will double on the d file. He's doing the same. Rook d1. Is there any problem with rook d1? I don't think so. Rook d1. Then I will go a5 and b4. Or does he want something else? Maybe he wants g5, knight f6. Could be also uh, a possibility. Right now, I think that d file is mine, so I will go knight c5 to get rid of this knight. And if we trade everything, then I am definitely much better because his pawns are weak. They are um, very much advanced, and if there is no attack, we know that um, it's not good. I can keep the queens. I think I will keep the queens because then rook d3 and something something there will be more annoying so i will just keep the queens and i will use the d file oh this is a blunder this should be a blunder because rook d3 rook h3 queen h4 yeah this is the this should be the end of the game f5 was interesting instead of queen e3 and on f5 i wanted to go Queen H, Queen G5, or something like that. Um, let's go another rook. Another rook in the game, and check, check. Now this is over. Thank you, thank you very much for the game. What I think is that. Um, here, usually, um, of course it's possible to play like this, but usually they go f4 instead of knight g3, um, or g5 h4 instead of castle. I think that is more ambitious rather than uh, playing like this. Let's see another challenge. Oh my god, how many challenges do we have? Lots of challenges. And let's, um, let's play with... This com Ooh, what? This combo bo bo -lated. I don't know if I pronounced it very well, but it does sound very funny. <laughs> Again, black. Just 24. What happens today? You don't like me? You started not to like me. That's pretty... Mm, pretty evil. I am trying, I am trying, I am trying my best. Again, what happens, I am, ooh, d6. Um, okay, we have not neither, but bishop b5, which is, which is super popular. First, let's uh, kick this bishop out, because I don't like, if you go knight f6 and rook e1 after a6 he has another possibility of going bishop f1 this is why i go a6 first always take take probably d4 then i will take it and no c4 that's a little bit awkward isn't it never seen such move Okay, I'll just try to play as needed. Can I be ambitious and go something like this? B5, or is it too much? I want B4. If C, B, A, B, then, then what? Then everything's fine. I don't think that I am in trouble. B4 is coming, A file is open. What can be the problem? E5, this is what I thought as well. But I want to take it, and then I want to go something like this. If you take on 
d7, I'll take it. If you go knight a4, I'll go e6. But I have to be careful with knight b6, so it's not so easy. Probably I didn't play very good. I'm not very satisfied, but not because of this. I doubt because of this. Anyway, what is the deal here? Knight d5, cd5, bishop b5, queen f3, f6, queen h5, g6, knight g6. Bye bye. Yeah. That's true. Okay, then I'm going to go e6. And I'm going to open everything that I'm allowed to open. If knight f6, g takes f6, knight d7, uh, queen d7, knight, queen f3 he can play, double attack, um, rook d8, queen f6, rook g8. But I don't think knight f3 is a good move because then I have two bishops, you don't have extra pawn, and um, yeah, you can play d4, but then what, d5? Mm, I would still play knight, uh, bishop c six because after d5 e d5 rook e1 bishop e7 i can always uh defend this bishop with rook h7 oh guys i forgot to look at the chat so <laughs> i am sorry for that i was usually looking at the chat during the um show but just before the show, I found out that my iPad was um, was not working, it was not charged, so um, I didn't have any time to, um, to charge it, that's why I am not able to look at the chat right now, but I'm gonna stop for a moment and take a look at the chat and see what you guys are saying, so if you have any questions you should definitely ask. Okay, now what happens? Knight of five is kind of a threat. I can play rook g4 type of things, but I prefer to play bishop e6. I have an extra pawn, uh, if I count correctly. I do have an extra pawn. Uh, but these pawns are doubled. I don't know if it's in my favor or not, it should be. I have two bishops. F4. Do you want to go F5? But then what? I don't like F4. I don't think it's it's a great move. First, let's let's think what you're gonna do here g3 probably then i can go c4 f5 this is very weird because what are you going to do after bishop d5 i can't even take on h4 but i like bishop d5 there is no knight f5 anymore and it doesn't make much sense to use the pin on e, e file because uh I will just once go king d7 or king f8 and then, then it's going to be difficult. Let's say I go king d7 with the idea of rook d1, king c6. Bishop f4. Here. Ah, rook d1. If you wanted to play rook a d1, this was, this was the point. Something is wrong with this, I think. Then I have a check. It's interesting, if king f1, can I go rook f4, g takes f4, rook g1, king e2. He's like, don't you, don't you dream, girl, just play. <laughs> okay, I still 
think that I have great position. Mm -hmm. I just want to sacrifice so much, but is it correct? I think it's correct. Really think it's correct. Because I'm going to take the B2 pawn. And C3 pawn will be very, very dangerous. This is what I hope for. Check. I'm going to go here. We. This I didn't expect. This was bad. This was very, very bad. This is what happens to me always. I cannot... I cannot uh, overcome the temptation of sacrificing. And I'm in trouble now, guys. I have to take here, otherwise I am totally lost. And I have to try to make a draw now. Rook d4. First, let's give a check. Here, rook f3, king g4, h5, king h5, rook f5, king g4, or king h6. It's worse version for me, I guess. So I think it's better to go rook a5 and then go so bad, something like this. And something like this. Let's see one. I don't have so much time. Check, check, check. All the time, check. Check again. Do you want to draw? Come on, it's winning, I guess. Here. Ooh. Have to be very, very, very. Oh. Okay. Okay. That is good news. I have to be just very fast. Ah. Oi. 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 Did I lose? It's not fair. <laughs> I lost some time. I thought that I was very, very, very... Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought I was very fast, but I guess there is lag or something. Is my internet good? I don't know. I don't know, guys. But it was an awful, awful banter place for me, so I apologize for that. Um, though I think I made the viewers happy because, um, yeah, I lost today how many games? I think three and I think I played five games. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty uh, big result for the challengers. So well done challengers and I wish you good luck uh, with uh, the coming uh, superstar. Anna, Miss Strategy, will be there in five minutes to continue the show and I hope that she will revenge for me because I think that uh, she is able to do that. But I don't want to end this show with a loss, so I am going to beat one of you guys and <laughs> level the score. Oh, Simba is there. Simba, I'm going to play against you. Okay, I'm going to play against Simba. Sorry, Anna, if I'm not letting you to start your show in time. Uh, but you should let me to, uh, to take from you two or more minutes. And I know you're a very good girl. <laughs> and you're going to understand it. Anyway, okay, Simba, let's play fast. Let's play fast. 
what is this? Am I losing something again or not? I don't like that my knight is kind of hanging a bit there in the air. First, let's kick this guy out. On knight d4, I will go bishop e3. Here's knight a5. I did not expect it at all. If I go bishop g5, I want actually that he plays h6. Then I can take on f6 and play knight d5. Or play knight e4. h6, knight or he can take it first on d3. I don't know. I have to be careful not to uh, blunder c4 on at some point. Because today I'm shining with blunders and I don't want to do that. So ed3, ed3, h6, bishop f6. Bishop f6, knight g d5. Is it good for me? Should I give this? I don't want to give it actually, so I will just go back on d2. Luckily, d3 pawn is defended, so there is no danger with it. Next, what I will go next? I might go h3 and g4. This is a bit, a bit weird. At least I think that is a bit weird because I have a chance to um, regroup somehow. Knight d5, knight e3, then knight can be back. Knight e3, can I play knight e3? Because after knight e3, if he takes bishop d3, knight d3, knight d3, my bishop a5 is there. And knight e3, knight d3, bishop a5 again. Or knight d3, bishop d3. No. Knight e3, knight d3, knight f5. Knight e1. Knight g7. Knight g2, knight e8. I like that I have black bishop, so I will go for it. Does knight d3 work? Knight d3, knight f5, knight e1, knight g7, knight e2, knight e8. No, I'm winning. I'm winning. So that's not good for him. He has to go back. Bishop e6 or bishop d7. Probably bishop d7 because if he wants to play c6 at some point, eh, bishop d7 makes more sense. Also, on bishop e6, it kind of. Oh, come on, you're giving me that bishop? This is not. This cannot be true. Can I play d4 right now? d4, bishop d4, bishop a, a5 is there. d4, he goes where? I think I will play d4 because after, let's say, knight e6, I'm going to take on a5 and I'm going to play knight c2, which I don't think is entirely correct what I did right now. What? Did I miss something? What did I miss? F2 is... Oui! I missed that this guy is hanging here. I thought... I kind of thought about it. But... <laughs> yeah, too bad. Too bad for me. Okay, let's go Queen F4 first. Okay, this is not my day. This is definitely, definitely not my day. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Sorry, sorry, very much. Very. It was awful. It was awful. And you can, you can see here, it says tough luck. Yeah, I had really tough luck. 
Anna, I wish you good luck. Miss Strategy, come on, you have to revenge for me. I'm sorry guys for awful games, but at least you had fun. Um, it's a birthday party of Chess24, so uh, think that I'm giving presents today. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on the show. And the party is on now. Miss Strategy will be on the show, will be live. I wish her good luck and good luck to you as well guys thank you very much for being uh in the show for bearing my blunders and um i hope that you uh you will still attend my shows my next shows i promise you that next time it's gonna be better thank you very much see you soon bye bye